be a problem that's experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. So let me get this straight. We've got Brad Pitt saving the universe and a 73-year-old Sly Stallone wielding a machete. But instead, moviegoers decided to go with... What piffle you talk? <gasps> there is no need to argue. I never argue. I explain. Strongly worded tiffs between British elders. I want every surface in this house to gleam and sparkle. The post's just arrived, my lord. Heaven. What is it? The king and queen are coming to stay. What? Here we go. Taking the number one spot during this crowded box office weekend is Downton Abbey, bringing in a better than expected $31 million in its first weekend out. The crossover from television phenomenon to feature film can be a treacherous one. Case in point. Yo, Vinny. What's the matter? Your girlfriend lock you out of there anymore? No, my co financier. You serious? Oh, my boys will break that door right now. I got the hamster here. He's crazy. I'm crazy. But for every Entourage esque flop, there's a Star Trek like success. And this Downton Abbey film is off to a great start at the box office. In fact, the $31 million debut is the best start in Focus Features history. <gasps> What's happening to me? Beating out 2015's Insidious Chapter 3, which brought in $22.6 million during its opening weekend. The next big test for this film is whether it can draw moviegoers who are not fans of the show. Analysts suspect the opening weekend rush of diehard Downton fans may be over. And with that, on to number two. Please, state your mission objective. I am attempting to stop an uncontrolled antimatter reaction, which threatens our entire solar system. Taking the number two spot this week and pushing Brad Pitt's summer renaissance onward is Ad Astra, bringing in an estimated $19.2 million in its first weekend out. In general, a $19 million debut is fine, but films about space tend to be more expensive than most. Gravity cost $100 million to produce. Interstellar's production budget was $165 million. Similarly, Ad Astra cost the folks at Fox $80 million to produce, which makes that $19 million debut a lot less impressive. But there's still hope for Brad Pitt and company. Ad Astra has fantastic reviews and is generating some Oscar buzz, which will hopefully give this film box office legs through award season. Last but not least this week, just barely falling to third place is Sly Stallone's Rambo Last Blood, bringing in an estimated $19 million in its first weekend out. As for next week, from the studio that brought you How to Train Your Dragon 1, 2, and 3, the exact same premise. But with Yetis this time. Hey, boy. Or girl. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a boy.